if you get this error from battlefield 6 and the error says please update your amd radeon driver then i'll guide you on how to resolve this issue make sure to follow these instructions very carefully now the fix was actually provided through the amd help subreddit which lots of people have found it very useful so i'll just provide the link on the description for this thread thread that you can check out if you want to now to resolve this error make sure to follow these instructions very carefully this picture which i'm going to show you was actually provided through the amd help subreddit so it's just the same so follow the instructions here open regedit on your pc by just typing window plus r then type this on the search bar here which is regedit which is registration editor so just type regedit and then click ok now after opening regedit for the first time it will look like this so after opening it just select here on the h key local machine now follow this directory here which has been typed which is computer H key local machine system and then current control set and then control then video then the folder on your computer will see the folder which is 000 now just let's go to it just you've opened regular it to look like this select on H key local machine so computer H key local machine and then look for system and then control current current control set and then click in it and then select control and then scroll down and look for the video folder so go to the v section for the v letters so here the video folder click on it and then between the these two folders here now listen to these instructions here now on the 00 folder find the one that contains radeon software version and the release version just like this so between these two folders here let me show you so between these two folders find the one that contains 00 and that 00 must contain these folders here that look exactly like this which is radeon software version and release version now go here so since this is there is no radio software version and release version come to this folder again for the video and look for this 00 folder now since this contains lots of files this is the one actually contains those two folders or two files that are called radio software version and release version now yes make sure to scroll down on this page to look for ara so since this pc doesn't support amd but for you you have to check it for those which is radio software version and release version and you'll see them those two files just see them which will look like this now i need you to do like this you need to change the keys by double clicking to the new values which is radio software version 2562 and release version which is 2510.13.04 exactly as it is written here now the default values if you are on 25.5.1 driver with polaris or vega gpu a radio software version 25.5.1 and release version as it has been written here so you just need to change these values by double clicking so yes for example if you look like this make sure to double click on it and then change these values to the one that have been shown here on the screenshot which is 25.62 and the version which is 25.10.13.04 so these are the so radio software version and the release version just make sure to change these values to the one which has been shown here on the screenshot but before changing just after changing restart your pc but before changing here are the warnings you must need to know this will not actually upgrade the driver and just change the registry metadata always note down your current radio software version and release version before changes as a backup so that you can restore it to its default values later if you want to so make sure to note down your current radio software version and release version before changes as a backup so that you can restore to its default values later if you want to also this was only tested and confirmed working on polaris rx 400 or 500 and radeon vega gpus so you can just try to test it but always make sure you note down your current radio software version and release version and make sure to change it to the values that has been written here and they should fix your problem so this was actually provided as on the amd help subreddit and lots of people have found it very useful as you can see lots of positive comments here so i'll just provide the link on the description for this reddit thread maybe if you don't understand what i'm saying you can just come to this reddit thread and make sure to follow the instructions from here and this can help you resolve this problem so you should follow these instructions very carefully and after doing so just restart your pc for the changes to take place and they should fix your problem so thanks so much for watching this video i hope this story has helped you and let me know in the comment section if this tutorial is useful and see you next time.